Hey everyone, so in this video I'll be sharing my tips on how to remove nail wraps. So there's a few different methods, all of them are pretty easy and you don't need a lot of things to do this, uh, just stuff that you'd normally have around, I'm sure you'd find something in here that you've got. Um, but these are the nail wraps that I applied in my tutorial, the same brand, different design obviously. Um, I've had these ones on for a while and I've been really rough on my hands. So there's some that have come off already and my hands are looking a little bit uh, worse for wear, but I've been doing a lot of gardening. Um, but in this video, I will be showing you a couple of methods on how you can remove nail wraps. Um, these particular ones are from Lillian Fox. So if you're interested on how to apply nail wraps, uh, check out my tutorial video for that. Uh, but this is to help you remove them. So first, before I do anything, I'm going to just put all these to the side and apply some hand cream because when you're using acetone or nail polish remover, it can dry out the skin. So I like to apply a hand moisturizer just before I remove anything, uh, just to help my cuticles not dry out. Uh, they are already fairly dry because I've been very rough on my hands recently. So I don't want to make that any worse. So how to remove the nail wraps. Now you can technically peel them off. I do not recommend that though. It has the potential of damaging the nail. I have done it before and in a pinch, if you're really desperate, you can do it. But again, I don't recommend it because when you're peeling off the nail wrap without any assistance from an oil or a, a nail polish remover, it can take off a layer of the nail underneath and damage the nail underneath. It won't always do that, but it does have a higher chance of actually damaging your nail if you're just going to peel it back. So whilst that is definitely a method to remove it, I don't recommend it at all. The way that I normally remove mine is to use some nail polish remover, which I'm just going to put in a little jar. You don't have to, you can do it straight from the bottle, um, but just for this purpose, I will show you uh, removing it from the jar because I will be using this later as well for another method. So just pour a small amount in. The nail polish remover that I use is actually um, a nourishing nail polish remover, but it does have acetone in it. You can use acetone free. You don't have to have an acetone nail polish remover. Uh, they both work pretty much the same. It's just that's what I have. So for any of these methods to remove it, you want to lift just an edge piece first. So I'm using a paintbrush that I have. This is a really just basic paintbrush. Uh, you can also use an orange wood stick, a cuticle pusher, a plastic one, rubber one, metal, whatever you might have, even just your fingernail. You just want to get the edge of it up just a little like this. Don't pull at it. If you go along the edge, you'll see that it just comes up. It's just to break the seal because if you've put a top coat on there, it will be adhered and stuck down to the nail. You might find that naturally it does come up, but that's what you want. So just a little bit of the edge to come up like this. So you can see there. Now for this method, um, you just apply some of the nail polish remover to the brush. You get the brush itself and you place it underneath and rub it along. The idea is that you're wanting to melt uh, or dissolve the glue or the adhesive that holds the nail wrap to the nail. So as you go along, it'll peel up more Sometimes you will have it come off all in one go. Other times it might come off in little sections. So as needed, just apply more of the nail polish remover, pushing it across. And as you'll see, it just peels back as it melts the glue. Now once that's done, just get a little bit of the nail polish remover and go over the whole nail bed to clean it off. You might find there are some, um, that some of the glue still on there, but it's easy to clean up. The second way to do it, if you don't have a brush or a paintbrush or anything like that that's small enough, is the same way. You can use an orange wood stick. 
you just get a little bit, obviously, pull up the edge first. I like to fold it back a bit after I've pulled up the edge. Get some nail polish remover, put it along the seam and gently slide it under. It's just lifting it up as the adhesive melts. Just like that. And clean it off as you did with the first one. Now again, you could follow the same method and use a rubber cuticle pusher or a plastic one. Plastic with acetone though, and even a non-acetone nail polish remover can get damaged. Um, so just be careful or keep that in mind if you're going to use a plastic pusher. Another way to do it though, if you don't have a cuticle pusher or orange wood stick, if you have a dental floss. So this is the floss on a stick. Similar thing, you would just use the end You'd break that seal and just pulling up the edge or using your nails just as easy so just to pull it up up enough that it has that little flap exposed there you'd apply the nail polish remover to the floss and gently slide it underneath you don't want to pull too hard because the idea is not to use the floss to pull the nail wrap off, it's just to guide underneath with the nail polish remover. Again, to just break down that bond between the glue and the nail. Now for the next method, you don't actually need nail polish remover at all. If you have some form of cuticle oil or oil, I just use a bottle that I had from a previous one and put my own in there. I use a mix of jojoba oil and vitamin E oil as well and sometimes whatever I've got. So if there's um, some form of facial oil that I haven't really liked on my face, uh, so like a rosehip oil or um, even a hair oil, uh, hair and nail oil sometimes you can find, uh, what is it, marula oil or um, Moroccan oil <laughs> there's so many essentially again it's the same concept it's just the oil helps to break down the bonds in the glue that help the nail wrap stick to the nail and uh, so that's all you're trying to do is just remove or break down that glue uh, and peel it back without damaging the nail so break the seal again and just using the cuticle oil Apply it around the seam where it's peeled up and gently massage it back. And when necessary, just apply a little bit more of that oil and guide it underneath the seam. The bonus of doing it this way as well is that you get a nice uh, cuticle oil massage going on. <laughs> and it's quite clean the way that it comes off. Uh, it's obviously, it's a lot more pleasant to use a cuticle oil than a nail polish remover. And it works pretty well. But just make sure if you are using a cuticle oil or any oil-based product, that before you apply your next set, you do use some form of acetone or nail polish remover just to clean the nail bed off and get rid of any excess oil. Because if you do have oil on your nail when you try to paint your nails or apply nail wraps, it's not going to have a really good surface to stick to and it can actually get underneath and cause it to peel back or peel up. Now, of course, any of the other methods, so the cuticle pusher, the paintbrush, the toothpick you can, or the uh, dental floss you can use any of those with the nail oil instead of a nail polish remover that's absolutely fine uh, these are pretty much interchangeable so where you would use nail polish remover you can use a cuticle oil it's just something to break down that bond to make it easy to peel back and lift off uh, the last method that you could use as well if you've just got 
the cotton pads and you don't really have anything else. You've got nail polish remover and a cotton pad. You can use this or a Q-tip would work as well. It's the same idea. Again, you're just wanting to lift back. This is probably the most important part of the step is just to lift back the edge so it has that little flap there exposing the glue. You can just use the cotton pad or the Q-tip to guide the nail wrap back. Now this way it does break down some of the nail wrap in some cases depending on how thick they are or what the texture is. Some of them are thicker than others and they won't break down. It does actually use a lot more uh, nail polish remover or product to remove the nail wrap. That's why my preferred method is either the paintbrush uh, with nail polish remover or, or just the cuticle oil. Uh, because it's a lot cleaner and it doesn't use as much as you can see pretty much used everything else that was in there uh, this way though you do clean the nail bed at the same time that you're peeling back uh, the nail wrap but it is a slightly messier process because it does sort of melt down the nail wrap at the same time so it's not as clean so once you're finished Either apply a good cuticle oil or hand cream. I'm going to apply some more hand cream again just to make sure that my nails and cuticles are well moisturized. Um, just rub it in around the cuticles. Uh, I like to do this anytime I'm using acetone or nail polish remover just to make sure they stay moisturized and don't crack as much as possible. <laughs> so that is how I remove my nail wraps. If you have any questions at all or any comments, please feel free to share them down below. I hope this was helpful. And like always, I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.